thank you so much for speaking to our hearts, Lord God, and for redirecting our eyes and our hearts to you, Lord. I pray, Lord, that as you have encouraged us, Lord God, that you would strengthen us to encourage others. I pray that this wouldn't be a one-time thing, that this wouldn't be the end, but it would be the beginning of something special, Lord. I pray that... As believers, we need it to be the example of Christ, not just to our city, but also to the nation, to the youth, to the other believers as well. And there were so many who were, who were hurting over this, who wanted an opportunity to respond. And I think everybody was waiting for someone to, to lead that response, but it just, it wasn't happening or we didn't see anyone. The Lord put it upon my heart to say, okay, let's do it. And, and somehow we did. It was so powerful and it just means so much to us as African Americans, especially in the church, because these are the people that we worship alongside and we believe that we love you and that you love us, but this blind spot can be difficult. You just want the acknowledgement that, hey, we see that this is happening and we acknowledge that it is wrong that it's happening and we are coming alongside you and we are with you. I think that when we pray, we do see those things begin to shift and begin to change. Even though things have been looking at their worst, this has opened up the doors for people to speak honestly, really seeing that visual image of a man on the street dying. It's grieved the hearts of men and women of every nation, creed, denomination, everywhere in a way that has just really transformed and I believe began to open people's eyes to the injustices that that it's real. It's really happening. all of the not just black people but also white people gathered right alongside me reading scriptures about justice um, joining together acknowledging the injustice that was being enacted on black people like myself on my black brothers and sisters that wrong things were happening and they were earnestly praying alongside me for them to stop white people who reached out to me from our church who were really grateful for the opportunity to do that with us and who were talking to me about how their hearts have been broken. I think as African Americans, as black people, not only are we hurting, but there are white people who are also hurting for us. And unless we see it, we don't know that that's happening. I think helping people to take their minds and just refocus it on God and to, to have a positive way to respond a more, and I feel a more effective way is really what everybody needed. We needed that positive outlet and opportunity to come before God together and just really cry out for our nation. And there wasn't that outlet. Um, we didn't see one. And so, so we made one.